This is Dylan Vazano with the Golden Eagle Sports Network. We're sitting here with senior forward Dennis Ogbean. Dennis, four years with the program, knowing that this is your last year, your last go around, what's that been like? Well, it's it's been interesting. You know, um, it, time because because time has flo flown by. Like it's it, it's 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 been so fast. I just I feel like I just stepped on campus yesterday, and now I'm a senior and I'm with the graduate, and this is these are my last 15 games now, and uh, so it's been I mean, it's been a good ride. Is there any maybe favorite memory, moment, game that you can think of over the last four years that comes to mind? No, I enjoyed every single bit of it. Um, favorite memory, I guess. It was, it was, it was all of it. But when we when we beat Murray State my freshman year in the semifinals for the OVC tournament, um, because we haven't we did we didn't beat them at all that year and. And um, we ended up beating them pretty, pretty well in the tournament. That was, uh, and then moving on to the, to the championship game, that was, a, that was a great memory. That was, that was really good. Well, what's it like to play for head coach Steve Payne over the last few years? Tough. He's a tough guy, um, and he takes a lot of pride in that. And, and, and I love, I love him for that. I, I love that he's like that. And uh, but it's been good. I mean, it's fun. He's, he's, he's a great coach. I love playing for him. Um, and. I mean, he, he just he just gets the best out of you. He's, he's, he's trying to make you a better better player, better man, better person, and I think he's, he's doing a pretty good job on all of us. Well, let's talk a little bit about your upbringing. Growing up in Germany, what was that experience like? Uh, not really that much different from than from, from from I guess from the people that got brought up here. I mean, it was it was simple. I mean, we didn't. Had enough to <laughs> to live, you know. We didn't have, we weren't rich, but it was it was fun. It's a nice country. Munich is a beautiful city. I love it there. A um, lot of lot of uh, different people, different ethnicities and, and cultures and everything. That was fun. And um, of course, basketball is not the number one sport in in Germany. It's soccer. It's the big thing. And then I think even hockey and handball, which nobody knows here, is is, is bigger than that. But now it's it's a, it's on the come up and. But it was fun playing a playing a little different sport than what the, what the other kids played. But yeah, it's, I, I enjoyed it. So how did you originally start playing the sport of basketball? Well, um, I think it started in, in third grade in like an after school program, and uh, uh, we had we had these tiny basketball goals, plastic basketball goals, about five feet high, and uh, I, I met a friend who plays D1 ball now as well. And we started just doing slam dunk contests on these goals, and then um, it happened that his mom used to be a professional basketball player in Germany, and um, she started a little team for, we were, I think, eight, nine, ten years old by that time. And so I joined the team, and ever since then we, we played together, and, and that, was, that was how it started. Well then, what motivated you to continue your career at the next level? You, you always want to be, you always want to play at the highest level possible, you know, and um, for me personal, personally, it was a decision between whether to go pro or, or do something, do something else, and I just, I just like the, 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 the college system a lot better where you can, you can study why you, why you play sport at a really high level, and so I decided to try to pursue that. How did you end up then at Tennessee Tech? Take us a little bit through the recruiting process for you. Well, I just, I think I, I tried to put my name out there because I'm a European and obviously it's not traditional recruiting over here. So I, I put, I just tried to network a little bit, talk to people, oh, you know somebody over here, you know somebody over there. And so I, they kind of got my name out and then I guess Steve Payne heard about me. Um, and then I just got a phone call and uh, I just felt that Tech was the best place for me to stay. I mean, I knew I wanted to go more technical direction in my studies, so I like going to a school that took that seriously. And I thought the program, I thought the league was good for me. It's a good level. I thought, I mean, I still think this is a great league to play in. And um, just that was the best fit. I liked the coach. I liked uh, Coach Payne and Coach Sutton back then that recruited me. And uh, I think I made the right decision. Now, your little brother plays for the University of Utah College Basketball. What's that been like having a sibling who's also a Division One basketball player? Oh, it's great. One thing is he's a lot better than me, <laughs> um, and it's just it's just nice to see to see a younger brother succeed in something that he only started because he saw me doing it. 
Um, and because I remember he started out with soccer. He was he was a traditional German kid. Well, more or less traditional German kid that started out with soccer. And and that he ended up coming to our games and watching me play. And he was like, I, I, I want to do this. And so he started because he, he saw me play and um, st stuck with it and ended up being being a great player. And I'm just happy for him that he gets to he gets to make the same experience that I, I do. You're a chosen candidate for this low senior class award for both on court and off court success. Have you been able to balance both academics and basketball? So far, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. My major is very demanding. Um, I love it, so I still, I still finish all my work. I try to finish all my work. I try to finish all my work on the court. Um, and it, there's, always, there's always a way. Some you just gotta make, you guys gotta prioritize your life and, and, and find a way to, to get everything done, not to lose focus on either, either parts of your life, and then you'll, you'll get it done. Now, Dennis, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Um, well, I guess as a hardworking, nice guy, just maybe a little smart every once in a while. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Okay, and uh, lastly, if you had to choose one word to describe your experience at Tennessee Tech, what would that be? Fun, I had a lot of fun. I'm still having a lot of fun, it's my last, about to be my last semester, but I mean, in every part of social, academic, uh, athletic, and every part of my life, I just had I just had a lot of fun. And that's why I kept, kept doing it. Well, thanks, Dennis. There you have it. This is Dylan Vazano with the Golden Eagles Sports Network.